the purpose of this video is that I just picked this up in Calgary. It's a Lionel Union Pacific Alco manufactured in 1957. It was a sputterer until I took it apart, cleaned out the armatures, cleaned out all around the inside of the motor, the brushes, added a good dollop of grease, and lubricated all the parts that need lubrication like the bearings. This power pack came with a locomotive, likely from the same set. I got this locomotive and a whole pile of rail cars, which are not in this video, and a whole pile of track and accessories and the power pack for $60 Canadian. Anyone can get into vintage toy trains, and this also proves you don't need a lot of space. This is also a bit of a fun departure from operating my live steam locomotives outdoors. Everything's coming apart for good greasing and cleaning. When I first put it on the track, it sputtered. So let's see. Perfect. Note that this locomotive has a two position reversing unit, but it's reliable. The body shell has received a nice warm bath with mild soap. Here we have a locomotive from the same era, only this one has a front coupler. And a three position reversing unit. This one is a stronger runner though. Well, we'll set the scene with some Kobe. This is a Kobe Churchill tank that's 1 to 48. Well, they say it's 1 to 48. It's about right. I've measured it. And some Kobe little people, uh, British Empire troops. This is intentionally Spartan, just to run some old trains. This is where I get my scale ha-has. If you've liked this video, please consider subscribing.